All right, hello everybody and welcome to Connected Community Health Support. My name is Jacob Kerr and I will be your host for day four of our high intensity interval training with dumbbells. So if you're finding us for the first time today, wondering what's going on, one of our ways of making health and fitness more accessible here at Connected is just by offering a buy or offering an exercise program that can be done from the comfort of your own home with limited equipment. Previously, we did a 40 week complete bodyweight program which you can find over at our linkchs.com or all of our social medias over at linktree find those youtube facebook twitch all that good stuff just going to throw that up there for you in case you did want to visit that website but today in 2022 we're changing up the program here we know everybody has different exercise goals they might have different reasons for wanting to work out so we really we want to show you know some different variety of exercise um, some different styles of exercise so really, you could be prepared to reach any health and fitness goal you would like. So with that being said, for today's workout, we have 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. We got a HIIT program, um, high intensity interval training. Um, you might need some light to moderate weight dumbbells for this one, but again, can be completely modifiable body weight. And some exercise, especially if you have limited equipment, you might have a, a weight might work for one exercise, but it might not work for another. So, you know, always gonna have to modify on the fly here. Do with what you can, but we're gonna do our best you know, make this one accessible for all. But I've been rambling a little bit too much. I'm sure you want to get a workout, you know, a good five minute warm up, half hour work, five minute cool down. So right around that 40 minute point. But I'm excited to get going. And also some exciting news here. If you've been watching the stream, you've probably noticed it's like, wow, my lighting, my camera quality, even maybe my mic quality really hasn't been that great. Well, fear no more. Just ordered my webcam, just ordered a Wi-Fi adapter. So, you know, the broad broadband quality of the stream uh, and the, you know, video, visual and audio quality really going to be on the up and up next week. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. But so bear with me. Last session with the bad lighting. Um, I'm looking a little little ghostly here on stream. But um, with that being said, I just want to give, you know, a cool little heads up there. But I've been rambling too much into the business. So. With that being said, we're going to do you know, a quick five-minute warm-up here. Just follow along with me, and we're going to get to it. All right, so no no dumbbells or anything needed here in this warm-up. First move here is going to be called the lying leg swing. So we're coming back so you can kind of see my full body here. We're going to be laying down on our back. Arms, doesn't really matter the position. We are going to be going from one side of our body. So we're starting the timer. Dropping the leg over, dropping it on the ground. And same thing on the other side. We want to be going to the height that is comfortable for us. Same thing. I'm dropping the leg down. Leg back up. Pretend like you got a very low ceiling that you got to swing your legs through. This one is going to get the hips moving, going to get the core moving, the low back, all that good stuff, all in one movement. Really love to stretch. This one you might see a few different times here in this program. Just a very neglected movement pattern, in my opinion. Getting that collapse and the hips on top of each other. But all right, now that we got the hips feeling good, let's work on the shoulders, work on the back a little bit. These ones are going to be called prone swimmers. So we're going to be here, laying down on our stomach. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see my hand. Starting thumbs out in front, thumbs pointing up to the ceiling, straight arm. We're going to be raising the thumbs up, and as we come, we're going to be putting the hands behind our back like we're getting rested. Hopefully you've never been in that situation before, but I'm sure you've seen it on, on TV or something at least. But all right, bringing those thumbs out in front. We're going for about eight reps here. Great work, everybody. Again, putting those hands right behind our back and coming right back up. Great all-in-one shoulder stretch, internal rotation, external rotation, abduction, abduction. Wow, good stuff going on here. All right, just a few more. It's going to be my last one. And done. Great job with that, everybody. We're going to be working our way from the ground up here in this warm-up. So we started on our back, then went to our stomach. Now we're going to be in a half kneeling position. Might want a pillow on the ground for this knee, depending on what surface you're going to be working with. But we want arms out in front like you're driving a bus. Try to keep 
the core, hips, all that stuff pretty still. But we're just going to be rotating out with the arm, moving that arm towards that leg that is up. Just opening up that mid back. Same thing. Not trying to, you know, we don't want the hips twisting too much here. We really try to stay solid through that lower body. And let all that range motion come from that mid back. All right, we got three more reps here before we move on to the other side. All right. Other side coming up here. Rotating it out. Again, same thing. I was messing up a little bit. Same thing. You don't want this knee caving in too much. You don't want it, you know, too far out to the side. Try to have it, you know, driving knee over toe right out in front. Same thing about eight, ten reps here. I see you got a comment in the time. I'm going to go check that here in a second. Can't really see from where I am, sadly. Great, great job, everybody. I also just realized that I don't have the chat up next to the screen, which I usually do. Um, yeah. Also, same thing. Let me know um, if that's something you guys definitely want up there. Usually like it, putting it up there so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, let's put that up here. It doesn't really take up too much space here on the stream itself. Oh, I guess it doesn't show up. What's a good winter tip? Never catch snowflakes on your tongue until all the birds have flown south for the winter. <laughs> That's a good one. Happy thing. Definitely got a green. No. Um, luckily, never been in that situation. I mean, I definitely, birds have got my car a few times. Maybe got got myself, but nothing in the, on my tongue, God forbid. So, all right, great job with those. We got two more warm-ups here before we get into the business. We're going to be just doing some shoulder circles and some open and close the gates. Now we're going to be standing up. I guess I'm going to have to, <laughs> to move the camera a little bit. Uh, sorry about that. Shoulder circles, keeping it nice and simple. We're just going to be doing small circles. You know, just like you're trying to draw a circle in the air, shoulders rolling forward on this first one. Great job. And now we're going to reverse the same thing, keeping them nice and small here. Good work, everybody. And here we go. Open it up, same direction, keeping them going backwards, nice and wide. Open up the chest, open up the backs. Maybe a little bit of burn in the shoulder. But remember, you know, burn is good, pain is bad. You got to know the difference here. You know, don't want it to be uncomfortable. It says feel good. You know, it might be a little bit exhausting, might be a little bit tiring at times, but, you know, it should never be painful. It was great job. Let's finish up moving forward with these shoulder circles. And we got one last move for the hips, and we're going to get things going. All right, good job with the shoulders, everybody. Last, last move. Open and close the gate. So bringing that hip out to the side, coming back in. Just going to be doing these for a few seconds. Make sure we get the hips warming up. We're getting that heart rate up too. Really important. We're going into some of these more intense workouts. We don't want a cold body. We want to be sweating a little bit. We want that heart rate up a little bit. And we want to be feeling good. Great, great job. We're almost finished strong here with this one. We're almost done. We're about to get underway here. The moment you've all been waiting for. All right. Well, one more on each side. Oh, I'm losing my bounce. And done. Great, great job, everybody. Get a quick drink if you need it. This is that part of the workout. We're going to be grabbing those light to moderate weight dumbbells. Um, same thing. i am got to pick a weight that's good for you. Um, same thing with most of these exercises. I'll be using between 15 and 20. Um, but there's somewhere I will have to either, you know, go down to completely body weight. Or, you know, if you have that alternative, if you have some extra weights, you, know, you can always go down the weights. You know, there's some moves that it's just going to be, you know, we might be working smaller muscles. We're not going to be using as much weight and so on and so forth. So same thing. There's going to be body weight modifications. There's going to be able to modify the weight, but we'll get to that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We're going to be getting right into the workout. I'm going to grab those weights. Myself, even if you know, if you got, you know, two pounds, um, same thing even for some of these ones, you know, even if you don't have weights, grabbing two textbooks, grabbing two water bottles, you know, there's, there's going to be these exercises in here, you know, like these bent over flies 
where, you know, you're not going to be using a lot of weight with this. You can get a really good burn with, you know, two pounds, one pound, you know, even no, no extra weight at all. So just keep that in mind with some of these exercises. The weight is not going to work for every single exercise. Just got to be weary of that. And, you know, just in case, same thing. If you have that option, maybe grab a second set of dumbbells. I'm going to be grabbing some 10s and some 20s. Same thing, definitely not necessary. Trust me, you'll be getting a burn with just body weight with some of these modifications. So let me throw the workout up here for everybody watching, live or recorded. Doesn't matter. Here we go, week two. Here's the program. Gonna be following along with me. We're gonna get started with this first set lateral squat coming up. Just because I'm currently doing this from my mobile hotspot out here in the garage. Um, it is draining my phone battery a little bit, so give me one second. Um, just going to make sure I got my timer um, plugged in a little bit. Sorry about that inconvenience. I'm just kind of realizing this now. But all right, cool, cool. So, I got the timer set up somewhere where I can easily see it. And we're going to get right to it. This we don't need it now, but. All right, so, first move on squat. We're only going to be moving one of the dumbbells. This one going to be holding it up right in chest and sh about shoulder width apart, kind of leaning over one side. I like to think of it like in a chair with one leg. So, lateral squat. First move, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of back. Get, oops, get yourself ready. All right, we're going to be going in three, two, one, and let's begin. Lateral squat, moving side to side. And again, the same thing with this movement pattern. This just, just isn't feeling right. Maybe it's bothering me, bothering the ankle. This is a little bit challenging with squat variation. You could definitely just be working with some squats here. And same thing, if that's feeling a little bit too intense, nothing wrong with dropping that weight too. You got to pick a weight that's good for you. Here we go. Keep moving, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Really, really good job, everybody. First move down. Next one coming up, we got our marching carry. So for this one, we are going to be having the weights here by the side. And still got about 15 seconds, but, you know, just marching in place, knees up to the chest. We still got a little bit of time. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Just like we're marching in place, like you're in a marching band. Same thing, you control the knee height here. You don't gotta be bringing the knee, you know, super high out. You know, same thing, you can just be marching in place with these weights. You're gonna be using a lot of these postural muscles with these weighted carries as well. Here we go, three, two, one, and done with those. All right, great job, everybody. You know what that means. Next set coming up, we got our bent over fly. This is one of those ones, might got modified in no weight, maybe grab a lighter weight. We're going to be in a bent over position, trying to make a nice flat back. And we're just going to be raising the dumbbells out to the side, kind of like the rows last week, these with the rows. And we're doing the flies just straight out to the side, going for shoulder height. We're going at three, two, one, and let's begin. Going with those dumbbell flies, create a nice shelf with the back. Again, same thing. If your dumbbell's feeling too heavy, it's not feeling right in the shoulder. Trust me, you're going to be working with just body weight here. It's not going to be much of a break, you know, on the lower body. You're still going to have to support that body weight. But, you know, we'll make the shoulders a little bit easier. Great work, everybody. Three, two, one. And great, great job, everybody. Done with that. First round down, coming on to the next round. We're going to be completely on our back for this one. Getting a little bit of a break. It's a pretty tough exercise still, but hey, 
Not going to complain about exercising on our back for three sets in a row. You got 10 seconds. First move here. Let me move out a little bit. Sorry. This will make sure I'm visible on the camera. So for this one, dumbbell pushing out right in front of your chest, going into this glute bridge. You're going to be alternating legs, kind of kicking out the glute bridge each and every time. We're going to have a little bit of single leg stability. going to be holding out arm, core, hips, all the good stuff on one. We're going in three, two, one. And let's begin. Also, unlike I just said, you should never rest your dumbbell on your chest like I said. I don't know why, I'd, but <laughs> probably not a good idea. Great job, everybody. Make sure you get those high on that glute bridge. You're going to be a little bit unbalanced. You might feel a little bit shaky, but you got this. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job with that one. Again, we're going to be on our back for this full set. This one is going to be called floor or toe touches. You don't get all the way up to your toes, though. Name might be a little bit, even, but... Legs up in the air like so, reaching up towards that toe. You know, same thing, even if you could get towards the knee, that's completely fine. you got to work in the range of motion. That works for you, but we're going to be doing this for 30 seconds. Starting in three, one, and let's begin. Reach up to them toes. Good job, everybody. Come on. It's a tough one, definitely. I'm going to be working the core here. I like about this one, especially after those blue bridges. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. That is a tough one. I don't care who you are. Great job with that. All right. Our last move here. going to be grabbing both, both your dumbbells here for this one. Gonna be our close grip floor. So same thing, just like the floor person last week, we're gonna be punching up to the ceiling. Except the only difference here, we're gonna keep those weights nice and close together. Elbows are gonna be pretty close to the body as well. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and begin. So these dumbbells can even be touching here, punching through that ceiling. You got this. Well, how many reps can you get? You got 10 cents. Make sure weight that's good for you. Three, two, one, and done. That's good, everybody. Two rounds down, believe it or not. Really great job. I will be honest, though. This next move can be pretty difficult. We got your guard. 15 seconds each side. So same thing, you're going to be one leg in front of the other. Dropping down. I'll show from the side two. Dropping down to a comfortable height. We're holding for 15 seconds. We're going in three, two, one. And let's begin. Same thing, this is my height. We're going to be holding. I'll let you know when the switch is coming. Tough move here. You might want to drop the weights for this one. It's feeling too heavy. Good work. Three, two, one. Switch. Other leg, 15 seconds, come on. Nice, strong, stable base. Get up nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Awesome job there, everybody, with that said. Tough move there. We got our shoulder taps. Another tough one here. We're going to be in our push-up position. Again, this one you can do from your hands. Or from your toes, going from your toes, push up position. Just gonna be tapping your shoulder with each of your hands, coming right back down. Or again, we could do the same thing from our knees. Same exercise, a little bit less intense. Going in three, two, one, begin. Good thing I'm showing from my knees right now. Show from the front too, just so you can kind of see. You know, every time you pick that hand up, you're working on shoulder stability, you're working on core stability. So a lot going on here with this set. 
weeks. And same thing, it's going to be a little bit harder on your toes. Obviously, you're going to be supporting more weight. Good work, everybody. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Done with that. One more exercise here in this first little circuit, first little round. We're going to be going with the Y raise. So, just like we're doing, you know, the YMCA, except we're going to be doing it bent over position so we can be working against gravity. Another one, you might want to go body weight with this. I got to show from here. Same thing, flat, bent over position. Just like the fly, except instead of going out to the side, you're going to be out going Y, thumbs to the ceiling. Going in three, two, one. Same thing. We go just body weight. My weights are a little bit heavy for doing the Ys. You're working a lot of small muscles here, small shoulder stabilizers. So, you know, don't want to be going too heavy here with these ones. Come on, 15 seconds. Let me get a good minute break this time. Great job. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. All right, we're going to take a good minute long break here. Get some drink. Get a Take a quick break. Get a breather. Awesome, awesome job, everybody. I'm grabbing my water real quick. I'm not going too far. All right, I'm feeling hydrated. See how much time we got left. All right, we got 10 seconds to go, everybody. So get yourselves ready. Lateral squat again from the top. All right, lateral squat. Everybody get ready. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Going side to side like I'm trying to sit in that chair with one leg. Same thing, just feeling like you're bothering the knees at all, bothering the hips, ankles. This is a pretty complicated movement, kind of kind of hone and get down. But the same thing, I like to think that that's why I say sitting in a chair. Here's my squat pattern, like I'm sitting in a chair standing up. And here's my lateral squat pattern. I'm just kind of shifting to the side. But you can see my hips are still dropping down towards the ground like I'm sitting in a chair. But great job of that. Three, two, one, and done. All right, good work. We got our marching carry here. That's our next move. And you might not want to pick up the dumbbells yet. You'll be carrying them for an extra 10 seconds. That's one of the harder parts of this move is same thing. But I like to think never have trouble bringing the groceries in one trip again. You do these enough. We're going three, two, one, and let's go. And maybe you don't march from your car like this. But hey, this is a good way to get the hips involved, get the core involved. Some single leg stability as well. The same thing, as soon as that knee comes up, you gotta rely on that opposite leg glute to give you some stability. Make sure, sure you don't fall over. Anything I'll be saying, nice up and tall. Good posture here. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's how it's done. Great job, everybody. Come on, give it up for yourself. Not an easy move. But we got our bent over fly. Definitely not an easy move here. Remember, going into that bent over position. One good way I'd like finding this position, hands on the hips. Now bring it down to you got a good flat back. Now you know, you know, I got a good solid base right here. I feel in control. You can take the hands off. Start going both at the same time. With weight, without weight, all up to you. We're going in three, two, one, and let's work. Same thing, try to find some good stability. Try right, to think, you know, stand in a position where nobody can push you over. Great way to find some central stability there. Great job, everybody. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Great, great job with that one, everybody. First three exercises down, we're going to our completely on the ground set. 
grabbing one dumbbell for this one. Make sure we got the timer. Dumbbell out in front. Oops, sorry. Dumbbell out in front. Up in the glute bridge. We're going three, two, one. Chase those legs out. Same thing, you don't got to completely kick the leg out if you're not feeling like you have a lot of stability here. The same thing, you can just hold in this glute bridge position. This is still going to be pretty tough. This is going to be pretty challenging. Same thing, you want to add a little bit extra in here. Get those legs kicking out. Great job, you got three, two, one, and done. Really good job with that one, everybody. Again, still going to be on our ground. We got those floor and toe touches, not floor touches. Still got 15 seconds. Tuck my shirt a little. Keeps coming on tuck a little bit. It's all good. We're gonna be going in five, four, three, two, one. Reach up towards that toe. Reach up for that foot. Try to get up as high as you can get. One thing I really want to exaggerate though: make sure you completely relax at the bottom. You don't want to you know stay halfway up. You want to get that full range of motion. Really have to work to get up. Great job. You got 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one, and done. Really good job with that, everybody. Move here on the ground. We are a close grip, floor press. I'm grabbing my dumbbell. Grab both your dumbbells, actually. Still got some time, still got 10 seconds, catch your breath. And get yourself ready. Remember, punching through the ceiling. We're going in three, two, one, and let's work. Come on, punch that ceiling. Like the ceiling stole some money from you. Come on, keep pushing. Take some main ground on the ceiling. Same thing, get some good. Explosive pushes. Want to be in control, though. You know, you don't want to be, you know, just jacking your arms up and feeling like you can't control the weight. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great, great job, everybody. All right, that's it for our completely grounded set. We got our isometric lunge. I know. I know you're looking forward to this one. Remember, 15 seconds on each leg. So make sure you're paying attention with all out that switch. Remember, this is going to be challenging you with or without dumbbells, even using some assistance. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm losing my balance. And we're dropping into that lunge. Tough, tough move. One of the toughest lower body moves out there. It's single leg stability. It's balance. It's a lot of single leg strength. And that's supporting your whole body right on one leg. Switching. So I was talking too much. Here we go. Great job, everybody. As low as what's comfortable for you. Three, two, one, and done. There we go. Got me feeling that one in the morning. Great job with that. We got our shoulder tap, so we're going down on the ground. Again, you got options here. You can go from your toes to my push-up position. You can also go from your knees just as effective. Still going to get that shoulder stability. Still going to get that core stability. Going in five, four, three, two, one. And let's begin. Going for my knees. Same thing. The, the, the less you can move the core, the better. You want to be nice and stable through this move. Again, you can always switch it over make it a little bit harder. Go from the toes. How many reps are you going to get? You got 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. That is how you do it, everybody. Really, really solid job with that. So, again, bringing us to our very last move. 
we got those bent over Y raises. So tough move here, going into that Y, right above head, thumbs up to the ceiling. I'm going no weight for this one. We're going three, two, one, and let's go. Same thing, these are pretty small muscles here in your traps, in the top of your shoulders. You are not gonna have a ton of strength. You're not gonna be doing 50 pounds there with these Y raises. I don't care how strong you are. At least that without some compensation. Great job, everybody. Come on. Almost done. Then you get another minute break. Five, four, three, two, one. And you are done. You earned yourself another minute rest. And back through that whole thing. One more time. That will cool it down. Hope you're feeling good. I am. Good time to hydrate, catch a drink. And again, um, you know, if anybody has any questions, comments, concerns, um, you know, love to answer them. But again, I promise the quality is getting better from here on out. The lighting is terrible. I know stream quality has been lacking a little bit. We have broadband adapters. We got all this good stuff coming right next week. So you got some better quality to look forward to. Hydrating off screen a little bit. I promise I'll be back in a sec. All right. Coming on to the end. I was just about a minute there. Even gave you a little bit extra. But it is time, everybody. Here we go. Last round before we cool it down. All right, lateral squats, 30 seconds. Prepare yourself, get ready. Three, two, one, and let's work. Awesome job, everybody. Keep working in these lateral squats, shifting that weight side to side. More than halfway done with this one. It's a home stretch now. Don't give up on me. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. We got March and Carry up next, but you still got 30 seconds. So, you know, take your time. Same thing. Might not want to be pick out these weights just yet. Then we work those forearms a little bit longer than you planned on. All right, might be a good time to start picking them up. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Head up, chest up, good posture here. Remember, you want to be controlled. You know, you don't want to be, you know, all over the place so you're bringing this knee up. And if you are, you know, I mean, you're seeing I got a little bit of sway side to side. It's expected. It's normal. Same thing. We just want to minimize it. Great work, everybody. Here we go. Five, three, two, one. And I do want to reiterate. I said it's not the goal of the move to be all over the place, going side to side. But again, to learn where we do have balance. We do got to sway a little bit. There has to be a little bit of air, trial and error to kind of learn where we have to build. So, but to think, you know, if you're falling over, losing your balance a little bit, that's just our body gathering information of what we need to be doing. So your body is growing from every time you make a mistake. Just keep that in mind. Don't get discouraged if you're losing your balance a little bit. But we're going right into our next move. Bent over, lateral raise, whatever dumbbells you're using, no dumbbells, lighter dumbbells, whatever you feel. Great. Two, one, and let's begin. Sorry, I didn't start right on my cue. But I'm raising these dumbbells up shoulder height. Fifteen seconds. Good. 
Here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Six more exercises in these next three, all on your back. Come on, let's finish strong here. Six exercises, 30 seconds an exercise. It's not that much longer. Come on. We got three minutes of work left. I know you got it in you. We got our glute bridge. Glute bridge kick out. Remember, dumbbell right out in front. Up to that strong glute bridge. And we're going. Yeah, 30 seconds here. Come on. Keep those hips up. Drive them to the ceiling. Using the hamstrings. Using the glutes. Definitely have to use the chest and the core to find stability. Keep working. You got this. Here we go. Finishing up here. Three, two, one. And done with that. Glue bridge kick out done. We got our toe touch. Or a knee touch, hip touch. I don't care what you're reaching for. Just want to be getting those hips up high. Or not hips up high. Get those feet up as high as what's comfortable. And then we're just reaching up to them. We're going in three, two, one. And let's begin. Great job, everybody. This is move is no joke. Yeah, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. Really, really good job there, everybody. Toe touch is done. Close grip floor press is our next move. Still got a little bit of time. Remember, punch that ceiling right through. Elbows close to the body. Dumbbells close to each other. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's begin. Punching them up. You got this. How many reps are you going to get? Last time doing these presses. Maybe you want to ramp it up a little bit here. Still keep my seconds. Three, two, one. And done. So, with that being done, we're going to be back. Standing back up, we're done on our back. Please until the warm up. We got that isometric lunge here. Next move 15 on each leg. Get yourself ready. We're in five, four, three, two, one. You know, we're just holding, we're breathing, trying to find stability. Good work, everybody. Tough, tough move. Not too much longer. Three, two, one, and switch. I'll we'll get right into it quick if you can. Here we go. Keep working, keep working. You got this. Three, two, one. Great job. Remember, the deeper you are in that one, the harder it's going to be. We got floor or shoulder taps. Again, we can go from our knee, we can go from our toes, all up to you. Still got a little bit more time though. 10 seconds. We got one more move after this, then we're going to cool it down. Going in five, four, three, two, one, and let's go. Pick the variation that works for you. Second to last move. What do you got left in the tank? 15 down, 15 to go. Five, 
four, three, two, one. And we are done. Last move here. 30 seconds of rest. I mean those bent over Y raise. Moving up Y above head, thumbs up towards the ceiling. Gonna be doing it in that bent over position though. Again, with weights, without weights, I'm going without weights. It's all up to you. Depends on what you got. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. The last 30 seconds of the workout. Come on, finish strong here. Don't leave anything in the tank here. That'd be your last workout for the day. Maybe it's your last workout for the week. Who knows? Let's just keep working. You got 15 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and donezo. All right, great, great job with the workout, everybody. Hope you're feeling good. I know I am. We're gonna cool down in a second. I'm gonna give you some time to get a drink, all that good stuff. Great job, everybody. All right. Finish up grabbing your drinks here. Get a light, you know, three to five minute cool down right here. And we'll be wrapping it up for today. Look at that. It's probably the best time of day. We kept we got almost right to that 40 minute mark, which is what I was kind of hoping for. That's good. All right, let's get a cool down underway. All right. First move. Let's just get some leg swing. You got something, chair, stool. Um don't need this. I'm just gonna be using it until I got something to stand put my hand on. We're just going to be swinging that leg through, swinging it like a pendulum, getting that, you know, hip, hip cool down, getting some different varieties, range of motion, different angles in the hip. All right. Now, same thing, other side. Going with the other leg. Again, let us swing like a pendulum. Goal here is, you know, we don't want to be kicking it super far up, any of that stuff. Kind of just letting the leg you know, do what it wants to do, so to speak. Let it slang back and forth. Another one you might see here a lot here in these cool downs. Do a great job with that. Now, you're going to be working for a little bit of the arm, shoulder, cool down, all that. I like to call these the self-hugs, giving yourself a pat on the back. After a job well done in a tough workout, also a great way to stretch the shoulders, get the chest moving a little bit. Good job. Just going to get a few more of these. Just make sure kind of you know, letting the heart rate come down, do, not doing anything you know, too, too intense there. Really good job with that one. We got our hand to hip rocker. We're going to be coming down on the ground for this one. Kind of show an angle so you can kind of see what's going on. So kind of coming down, stretching that front of the quad, reaching down into it. And just a few of these on each side, just getting a good stretch in here. I'm going for about 10. Great job, everybody. Should feel that heart rate cooling down a little bit, that breath rate coming down a little bit. Get into a more relaxed state here. Just focusing on the breathing, focusing on that stretch. Good job, everybody. Oh, 
All right. Great job with that last one here. Our next move, alternating swimmers. Sorry, I couldn't, couldn't read my own handwriting for a second. So going to be on our knees again. You could be standing. It doesn't really matter. You could be even on your back, realistically. Just kind of like we're doing with those prone swimmers in the beginning. So now we're alternating one hand behind the head, one hand going behind the back like you're getting arrested. Just getting a lot of these different shoulder range motions all in one here. Great job, everybody. A few more reps of this. We'll do one more deep breathing exercise, and we will send you on your way. All right, great job, every everybody. So, last move here, deep breathing. We're going to be on our back for this one. For this one, you know, same thing. We're just going to be laying on our back. We want to take some deep breaths into the nose and out through the mouth. Like you're blowing out through a straw. It's a really slow, controlled breath. Deep inhale in, really feel the stomach expand. Feel kind of flat and out, deflate a little bit as you are blowing that air out. So while everybody's finishing up those, I want everybody to get a little bit, you know, get at least 10 reps of those. That'll really help bring the heart rate down, get you cooled down. I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about that CHS to stream. What's coming up next? So as I kind of mentioned before, this is our, you know, gonna be switching the exercise style every single month here in 2022, just trying to show a variety of different ways to exercise. Um, you know, showing some of those, you know, physiology principles, you know, work to rest, all that good stuff, you know. It'll come more into play in some of those other styles. You've kind of already seen this hit style exercise there in the bodyweight program. But, you know, just want to make it as, you know, transferable as possible um, with this initial start off from that transition from the bodyweight to this hit program. But, you know, with that being said, we're going to be mixing it up every month. So maybe, you know, this this dumbbell hit one isn't work out for you. You know, we're always going to be changing up every month. So don't worry about it. You know, everything might not be your favorite, but same thing, you know, maybe your goal right now is, you know, weight loss or maybe it's building muscle. But, you know, you never know what your goal, exercise goal might be a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. So, you know, have all these tools in the belt, so to say, different styles that you can exercise in. You know, we think it's a really valuable resource. And so it's just a better way to, you know, give some more variety to all our viewers here. You know, everybody trying to, you know, better themselves and, you know, better their health and fitness. So, Showed you a little bit about, you know, what's going on with the stream. Some cool things coming up next. Um, we just started our podcast. Um, first episode went live the other day. I'm um, going to be uploading those to different, you know, podcast platforms. Always going to be doing these right here to restream. So you can find those on the Facebook, the YouTube, the Twitch, all that good stuff. If you want to check that out, go check out episode one um, out there on our social media. You can check the link tree in our bio. Or, you know, even checking out that website here. Oh, sorry, trying to change uh, the captions in here. Just throw that up there. Um, so you got that resource. Yeah, so we got that coming along. You know, same thing, going to be offering. I'm really ramping up, trying to ramp up our availability, um, so to speak, you know, as far as our in-home and virtual personal training, looking on to bring on some new trainers to our team and things like that here in the near future. So really excited about that. Really cool. Um progress being made here and just, you know, excited for things moving forward. Um, but yeah, that is about it. All I got for today. Um, really thank you all for joining and watching this live recorded, whatever it is, maybe watching it a year from now, who knows, but you know, thank you again for joining, supporting, want to know more about us, you know, check out our website, connectchs.com. A lot of changes coming to the website in this next week, trying to make it a little bit more accessible, a little bit easier to navigate. We're actually going to be hiring somebody to work on some of those aspects. So, you know, that's really cool. Just want to give a little information about that um, so you all know about that moving forward. But, again, thank you for supporting. Thank you for being here, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Um, Jacob, signing out. Have a good one, everybody. I will see you next Tuesday. 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a good one, everybody. Enjoy being here, and I hope you had a great workout. All right, see you, everybody.